of the system is again sticking around. Let me show you what's happening. We have this high pressure ridge that has stayed and again keeping our weather pattern so far for the winter season very dry in Southern California and again it's knocking any of those storms that are trying to approach like this one and head, sending it up north to again the northern edge of Northern California and to the Pacific Northwest. We may see some changes here in the next couple days as this next system starts developing. Again there's going to be a couple this one and that one they're going to move into central and northern california but the one that i pointed out down here is the one we're going to watch for because the tail end of that system might sweep through southern california and again if it does we get a good chance of rain but mostly north of ventura county and with those burn scars especially the thomas fire we're gonna to have to watch for that because any mud and debris flow that happens from that rain won't be good for streets and for homes now looking at high temperatures today wow it's going to be a beautiful day outside once we get rid of this fog that's lingering outside for your commute this morning high 70s in the inland empire because you're starting off with that sunshine to start and then everyone in the basin sitting in the low 70s it's gonna be nice today here on this first day of January all right rain chances arriving late this week for everybody it's not looking like a lot of rain and timing keeps changing with every single model run but we'll continue to update you on what we're seeing here with those computer models LA Orange County today at about 72 high 70s tomorrow and then those clouds increase and we have a cooling trend through Friday with that chance of rain arriving again the end of the week 72 degrees still in LA by then. That's been a quick look at your forecast. I'll go ahead and send it over to you with a check of traffic. All right, Alicia's off this morning, but we're watching traffic for you. Two incidents to tell you about right now in the Baldwin Park area. CHP reports a hit and run on the westbound 10 at the 605. A car was rear-ended. That driver was taken to the hospital. Also on the westbound 10 in that area, there is a mattress on the number two lane. So watch out for that hazard right there. Let's take you outside, see what the westbound 60 at Eastern Avenue looks like.